Bills and oh. stolen. As they don't look like they got numbers the other way. Feet set up in the air. The Providence Fires hosted the number four Yukon Huskies at the Amp for the first time in 10 years, and it was well worth the wait. Winning 73 to 61 en route to their eighth straight victory and to move to 5-0 in Big East play for the first time in program history. It took a team effort to hold UConn to their lowest scoring total of the season. Yet I thought our men stepped up to the challenge. You know, I thought it was a great team effort, losing Jared Bynum, who's one of our leaders, if not the leader. But I thought everybody that stepped on the floor, these particular guys up here in particular, had a great impact on the game on both sides of the ball and I just was proud we continued to improve. Bryce Hopkins once again turned in a strong performance, scoring 27 points and going 13 for 15 from the line. I gotta give it to my teammates. I mean, they gave me the ball in my spots and I felt like I just took advantage of that. I feel like I had a mismatch on the um, offensive end and I just tried to take advantage of that. I feel like we try to take it to our defenders. I mean, if we have a mismatch, I feel like we try to create the contact and I feel like we did that tonight. If there was a mismatch one, I mean, there was a mismatch between me and Devin, we feel like, and we tried to take advantage of those two. And that's why I feel like we got to the free throw line like we did tonight. Noah Locke delivered the shot of the game with a three-pointer to move the lead to 12 with two and a half to play. I mean, it was just pretty much just staying confident. I mean, it wasn't really no emphasis really on anything. I mean, it was just pretty much me just going out and just being confident in myself. I mean, my teammates believe in me. Um, my coaches believe in me. And, um, you know, just pretty much just going out there and staying confident. We knuckled up today. It was a knuckle-up game. This wasn't a game if you were young and immature and emotional, you wasn't going to be able to play in this game. This today was a tough this was a big boy game today. You, you couldn't be a baby in this. If it was, you were going to get a bottle and sit out. Next up, the Friars host the St. John's Red Storm Saturday at noon right here at the Amp on FS1 and on 99.7 FM WPRO. Make sure you subscribe to Providence College Athletics on YouTube. For PC Friars MVP, I'm Nick Rojas.